Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna give you the best controller moving guide on Apex Legends without giving you the extra nonsense that your favorite YouTuber probably gives you. So let's get right into it. All right, before we get into anything, let me show you these two important settings that you need to have. You need to have auto sprint on, you need to have double tap sprint off, but not only that, you need to have crouch button on hold. And to make everything more clear, this is my button layout and you might have to rewind it just in case you do not know what button I am talking about. All right, now let's start off with the most common movement that is slide jumping. Slide jumping is the movement you use to get around the map. And this is gonna be your fastest movement. And if you copy the important settings I gave you at the beginning of this video, all you have to do to slide jump is run, slide, and jump. But there are important things that I need to tell you about. You cannot do this constantly, right? You can't just slide jump and slide jump constantly. You have to get used to the timing because I think you have to wait like three seconds in between each slide jump. And with that being said, another key movement that people always ask me about in my comments is called the fade slide. And two phase slide is when you have your gun out and you instantly host your weapon and do a slide because if you have your gun out, it's going to take a little longer for you to slide. An example of this being done is when you're shooting like this and then you host your weapon slide and you go around the corner. Okay, another one of the most common movements is to do a wall jump. And to give the basics of wall jumping, all you do is run, slide, let go of everything and jump off the wall. And if you guys are like me, I know you guys are having trouble jumping off small objects like this one. To jump off small objects like this, I repeat the same process. But what I do is, when I'm jumping off a wall like this, I'm not letting go of everything. I'm either pressing right on my left analog stick or left on my left analog stick. And what holding right on your left analog stick does, it actually gives you a climb animation instead of a mantle animation. And what that does, it also goes into a fatigue jump. And let me show you a fatigue jump right now. So to fatigue jump, all you have to do is hold left or right on your left analog stick and go up to a wall and it's going to give you an animation like this but i would say the timing is rather weird okay a cool way you can use fatigue jumping in your natural play style is when you see doors you can also fatigue jump off of a door like this okay the next movement i'm about to show you is b hopping b hopping is very situational and it's not used much but it's good knowing it and to b hop all you have to do is run slide jump 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 while holding the crouch button and so on you can honestly slide for so much amount of time okay a cool way that b hopping could be useful is that if you're peeking someone you'd never like peeking in the same position so you peek them shoot fatigue jump and then you back up to the other corner by b hopping okay now we have the super jump the super jump is a very common used movement that you're gonna see a lot in gameplay and to do the super jump all you have to do is interact jump jump and in that specific timing if you jump too early it's gonna give you a weird jump if you jump too late it's not gonna work so in that specific timing do interact jump jump and then there you're gonna have a pretty nice solid jump you might see the super jump used in the game by a long zip line is when you interact with the zip line by super jumping and you interact once more and it's going to look like this compared to going up like this which is very slower and less cool so <laughs> Okay, this next movement might be the hardest movement I've ever done. It took me like 500 tries to do one. So now it's time for me to try to teach it to y'all. <laughs> and this movement is called mantle jumping. How to mantle jump, you interact with the zip line, jump off, you're at the ledge. And anytime you see the edge of the ledge like this, where you see it all leveled out, you have to back up off the ledge by pressing back on your left analog stick, look all the way down and super jump. It sounds very simple, but this might be the hardest movement for me, and I'm gonna try to do it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get one in the video, I have to. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, finally tries later! Oh my god! W hey, leave a like for that. You better leave a like for that. Okay, this next common use movement is actually super gliding. Super gliding might be a very hard beginner movement, and it is pretty hard for me too. And like, it's gonna depend on like your frame rate, because I know if you're playing on console, this might be very easy for you. I don't know. And the implants to do a super glide is you mount and then you wait for your screen. As soon as it stops shaking, you put the input and super glide in. And the inputs to do a super glide is you hold forward and you crouch jump. You have to crouch a millisecond faster than you jump. All right, there's a situational alternative to super gliding and this way is called edge sliding. All you have to do to edge slide is when you mantle, you wait a few seconds to slide off. It's not gonna give you the same boost as it is with super gliding, but it's gonna give you a nice beneficial boost. 
boost. And you can also, after you mental, you can slide off an edge and it still gives you a boost that way also. And the way this can be used in a real game is if you see objects like this, if you super glide, you're going to end up hitting your head. So what I do is I mount and I edge slide off and it's going to give you free space to run. Okay, and now for the situational movement text, we're going to start off with doors. Doors you can get very creative with. Like, for example, if you have a single fire gun that does a lot of damage, you can peek open the door, do damage, and close back the door instantly without taking any kind of damage. And now I'm going to give you the situation if someone is playing on the opposite side of your door. One way is by hitting the door twice. But keep in mind, if you hit this door twice, you're going to be vulnerable to damage for like three seconds without shooting back. So I do not recommend this way. And that looks like this. You see how I couldn't able to shoot back for like three seconds. So don't do that. A 50-50 way of playing the door is that if you throw a nade at your feet, the door is going to break. But what you can do, you throw a nade at your feet, they're probably going to run back. But it's a 50-50 that they run back. You throw the grenade at your feet. If you see them run back, open the door and go inside and shoot them. It's that simple. And, and now the last way that I would say of playing an opponent on the door is by fatigue jumping off the wall to the side. And how you do that is you climb up the wall like this and you back up, B hop, you move to the side and move all the way to the side. But this is going to be the most risky way. I only recommend this way if their opponent is low. And if you're a controller like me, you might be wondering, how do I reblow behind the door? There are two ways to do this, either with my Steam config settings video. Go watch that. It's going to be in the comment down below. Or you can shoot your whole magazine out. And this might take a while, so I do not recommend this way. But it'll give you a free reload off like this. And now let me show you a couple situations where vertical and horizontal zip lines will be useful. Okay, first we're going to start off with horizontal zip lines. You can use the super jump that I taught you earlier in this video to get on ledges like this. And it's that simple. This will give you a free ledge jump and a free edge boost. And it give you it gives you a lot. You know what I'm saying? You can use a lot with it. And also you can use a horizontal zip line to get you an advantage like this. It's going to give you a free peek and a free angle on the guy, and he's not going to be able to see you. Okay, vertical zip lines have a lot more flexibility. One thing that I did not know, if you do a super jump while on a vertical zip line and you look straight up, you get more height than looking sideways or down or anything like that. And also, since vertical zip lines give you more height, you can do things like this. And to do that, all I did was do a super jump and turn around 180. And imagine trying to hit something like that. You're not going to be able to. Okay, that's about it for the video. Make sure you subscribe. There's going to be a video to the right of this screen and there's going to be a video on the left of the screen. The video to the right is going to be my Steam configs. And the video to the left is probably going to be a movement video or something like that. Something cool. So click on either one you think is helpful. Love y'all.